Welcome back, you beautiful people. It's time to kill that curiosity. And what is the best wheel size for a hardtail? This is 29 versus 27.5 hardtail edition. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, a versus. We're not going head to head. We're going against ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, 29 versus 27.5. We're going to ride a tech climb, tech descent, a flow descent, and then we're going to swap bikes. Yep, time ourselves on each one of them and see which one we are faster on. Yeah, what do you reckon? What's your guesses? Mm, I reckon it's 29. Do you? I reckon it's 29. Uh, maybe not on the tech descent. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Hello. <laughs> Meine Fahrrad heißt Boto Blumer. Hier voll sehr geil. Anyway, that's my German for the today. This is my Nuke Proof Scout 29er. Now, I have had a 27.5 and I've done the biggest challenge I've ever done on a hardtail. That was on a 27.5 and that was the Mega Avalanche. Now, this, my friends, is a beauty. I got 160 mil travel up front, 29 front and rear. I got spank wheel set on here, but on the rear, I got a 359. So it's a bit more it's a lot more stronger to take all that heavy hit on the rear because I haven't got suspension right here. 200 mil dropper post here, 780 bars. Uh, what else I can say is I've got some aggressive tires. I've actually got an Endura casing on the front. Weirdly, I've got a trail casing on the rear. It should be the other way around or just Enduro because it gets rough on these bikes. Uh, but I do have... Uh, an insert in the rear and in the front. So I'm pretty protected. One by 12, I am clipped in. I highly suggest if you have a hardtail, try being clipped in because it kind of makes the ride a little bit smoother and you can manipulate the bike a little bit more out there on the trail. Can't forget the brakes. These are the Hayes Dominions, four pot, front and rear. 200 mil rotor on the back, on the front and on the rear, I got 180. Oh, it's a lot of power stopping. Stoppage, power stoppage. But there you go. This is Butter Bloomer and I love him. So this is my Nuke Proof Scout, and instead of Shimano, I've gone for SRAM, and I've paired it with RockShox Pike's Ultimate up the front, but it is the same amount of travel as Blake's, and the geometry is pretty much the same as well, same head angle, same seat tube angle, uh, but because mine is a small, it does have considerably shorter reach. But it is largely the same bike, with that big difference being the small 27.5 wheels. But is it better? I guess we'll find out. Right, we've come to the top of our first timed section. Flow, flow, timed trail, single track. Yes, I, I like have it. a feeling that your big wheel is going to gather some momentum on I this. think 29 are here for the win. But there's only one way to find out. It's to do it, do them both on each other's bikes. Right, good luck. Good luck. Go. Ladies first. Oh, okay. No. Right, 27.5. Right. We've right. done our lap. 
on each one on each other's bikes. We'll save the time. <laughs> Should we swap bikes? Yeah, go on yeah. then. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Enjoy your four cross bike. Enjoy your downhill bike. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I want to drop the saddle on this. I'm gonna drop that. 200 mil. <laughs> Get that away. You go. <laughs> tough going short track it's all about sprinting i feel like this one took this was faster really weird should we look at the laps do you see in your lap times yeah okay so my first run was on the 27.5 and i got 117 right. um seconds yeah. and then i got on the big one yeah and i well my acceleration off the start was well slow i was Slower. in too big a gear for big wheels but when i got up to speed i felt like i was gaining loads of momentum and i was going so quick i wasn't pedaling and actually i got 116. oh so uh, you were quicker yeah, by one second. Actually, only half a second. This has rounded it up. Uh, it was only half a second quicker right. on the 29er. What about you? Curveball. Yeah. So on my 29er, <laughs> on Butter Bloomer, I got 109. Okay. Yeah. Rounded up. Uh-huh. On yours, yeah. I was quicker. No. At 108. So it's rounded up. So it depends. I don't know how much difference is rounded it up by, but numbers don't lie. I was quicker on this. Because I think you spool up quicker on a smaller t wheel than you do on a bigger bike. Yeah, because uh, maybe it Straight suits up. your BMXy sprint in yeah, background because uh, you're just like always accelerating. Exactly, aren't you? feels like a four cross Whereas bike. I just hate that. I like <laughs> I want my bike to do yeah. some work for me. All right. But uh, I wonder if this all reflects on the tech. Should we go and see the tech? Tech. Tech percent. F I'm gonna say 29. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. Yes. Let's go Which way? Yes. Yeah, go with this. Bye. Bye. Right. We've traversed across, <laughs> and now. We're at the trailhead of some techie descent. As techie as we could find. Yeah, yeah, it's got some drop-offs, some roots, ruts, loads of corners. I don't know if your momentum's going to help you on that big bike now. Oh, yeah, it is tight and squeegee and a bit peddly. This might some... actually help, maybe. maybe. We'll see. Watch this. Yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one. Let's go. Oh, 
That is slippery. Swapping the garments. Oh, and you have that one. All right, oh, I'll time for a lap on the 27.5. It's a bit tight up top, so it might come in handy. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Bumpy. Feels quicker. Feels quicker. Whoa! Feeling the G out. I can't believe I did a mega on a 27.5. Right, 29 a time in the tech. A bit nervous, it's a big boy, but uh, let's go. The technical descent done, timed on both rigs. Now, yeah. I, you know, I was in favour of the 29er in that, and um, yeah. this felt quite quick. But you, what was your verdict? I thought the 27.5 would be quicker because it's really tight and nagery. It felt quicker. But I was just getting battered around a lot mm -hmm. and getting knocked offline, and this was so smooth. I actually cornered better on this. Better on that. And the times. I acknowledge that. Really? It was 56 seconds on the 27.5. Yeah. And then bear in mind, I went wrong twice, came off the track twice on the 29er, and it's 55 seconds. Really? So I reckon I would have knocked three seconds off. Wow. If I hadn't gone wrong. What about you? But, uh, for me, I thought that would be quicker. But to be honest, 46 seconds on the 29er, 46 seconds on no the 29 I nailed it, but I actually rode the 29er Again. first, obviously, yeah, and I did a few different, well, questionable line choices. <laughs> so I double thought and I went on this. So if I went the same line choice, I would be quicker on that. Yeah, but that's the second time you've got the same time. Oh, Man's no. consistent. Man. Should we try a uh, tech a climb then? Climbing. Don't like climbing, but let's do it. No, I don't either. Let's go. It's this way. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Right. You went the right way. I went the way. right way. You went the right way. <laughs> I went left. Anyway, <laughs> we are at the bottom of a semi techy climb that's got some roots, some turns. Not very long, but it's going to test the abilities on both sized wheels. Mm. So, saying the time again. What do you reckon? Swap bikes. What do you reckon? I reckon this accelerates better, but that's going to roll over the rough. This is going to roll over the rough, and that's what you need, right? Mm. Let's roll find out, shall we? Yeah. You can go first this time. Oh, OK. <laughs> Age before beauty, right? <laughs> right, three, two, one. Up in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Meow. Not that much of a problem on the roots. No. Oh, still an effort. Oh. Time to swap rigs. 29? Yes. 27.5. Let's do this. Let's go. It's this way. Big old piece. Ooh, 
empty. Oh. Make it a right meal of this. To that stump and scene. Are you a fan of climbing? I hate it. Yeah, I know, but we did it. We went for a minute to see how far we could get. We nailed it. We did it on both yeah. bikes. I did it in a minute, but then I did it again on your bike, 27.5 over some rough stuff, and I did it, it was slower. It was yeah. one minute 03, yeah. which it's inevitable because bigger wheels roll over stuff. It's a long, it's a long time over, over a minute's climb, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But it was very really technical and I felt good on the small wheeled bike because I could kept like accelerating and powering. Yeah. But then I got on this and honestly, the traction is so good. Yeah. Like I felt like I was almost on a short travel trail bike, like yeah. just rolled over the stuff. And I was five seconds quicker. On, on the this. 29er? On, on, yeah, sorry, on yours, on the 29er. <laughs> the same <laughs> colour. <laughs> yeah. What am I on? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I agree. Yeah. It's, it just rolls over stuff way better. But yeah. overall, over today, we've done three challenges and I kind of broke even. Yeah, you did. That was quicker on the flow, weirdly, because I tried harder, because yeah. you can accelerate quicker. And then on the descending, I did it in 46, 46, same. Climbing, this beats that. Yeah. So it's 50-50. And I think, and I was one second slower on both descents on my smaller wheeled bike. Yeah. Um, and I think that's just because when you lose the momentum, I just let it go. Let Whereas it go. you put more just, effort just in, didn't go. you? You like, just yeah, like, I'm, I'm carrying I'm on. <laughs> I'm carrying on. <laughs> <laughs> so I think maybe that's the conclusion. If you've got smaller wheels, it is a bit of an effort to keep going. You're constantly accelerating, but if you've got the legs like Blake well, and yeah. the effort, then and the wheel size. it's just as good. Yeah. So if you're on a 27.5 hardtail now and you're thinking, do I need to upgrade? You don't really, do don't you? Really, no. But personally, if I was buying from scratch, 29er is I would say 29er for me is a go-to for a hardtail. Mm. It just rolls over everything smoother and you're trying to make the ride a lot smoother yeah. anyway because it's yeah. rough. But what do you guys think? Have you got a 27.5 hardtail or a 29 hardtail? Which would you go for? Let us know down in the comments below and let's join up the debate, eh? Oh, please. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya. Cup of tea? Yeah. Let's do let's it. Let's go.